felt like I had to stay true as her boyfriend for the rest of the week. So I held my nose and replied. That night, we texted back and forth every five minutes or so until 3 a.m. The next morning, Karen was shocked when she saw my face. You okay, dude? Your bags are so big you look like a panda. Oh, I was just up late last night. Did something happen? Just texting Shoko. <laughs> how cute. I'm jealous of how close you are. Oh yeah, about the movie. Yeah, you're gonna go with Shoko, right? I get it. Don't worry about me. You two have fun. That's not what I was gonna say. Can we do it next week instead? Huh? I asked you to go because I wanted to see it with you. What about your girlfriend? Come next week. She'll be fine with it. You already have broken up at this point anyway. F fine. I guess I could go with you if you really want to see it with me that bad. I do. Great. Eight dollars, you said? Don't worry about the money. Huh? Think of it as a date. A, a date? Yeah. I didn't pin you as the cheating type. I'm not. Then you're already going to break up? Isn't that a bit fast? Her loss. <laughs> Fine. Uh, next week, then. Great. Wait, if you're breaking up, why can't we go this weekend, then? Oh, well... Is there something you're not telling me? You know I'd never do that. Come on. All right. I already have a date with Shoko this weekend. Oh, you already made plans? Yeah, exactly. Oh. Yep. So where are you going? The amusement park in the next city over. You know it? Oh, yeah. I heard it's fun. We decided to go last night. Good for you. I couldn't help but notice the slightly angry way she said that. The day of our date arrived. Hey, Jiro! Over here! Thanks for waiting. Oh, no problem. I just got here, too. <laughs> What's so funny?